I'll be importing this model to Roblox Studio. If your mesh has more than 10k triangles, you can't upload that mesh to Roblox Studio. What you can do, is split the mesh into some files, and import them together. If you want to export a mesh, you can go to file and then export. Roblox Studio supports only FBX and OBJ files. FBX is better, and I always use it. I'll drop some links in the description about this topic. You need to select a destination for your file. I suggest keeping everything organized, like what I have done. If you want to just export some of the meshes in the model, select them and click export select a checkbox. This one right there. If your game isn't published, you need to publish your game first. Open the game explorer with clicking on it, it is in view tab. If you have it opened, click on import. After clicking it, file explorer will open. Select your file there. Once you have selected the file, this will pop up. You can tick the third one, if you want it as a single mesh. Second one shall remain ticked, and first one shall be ticked too. If you are having issues with size, you can close it, but your mesh will be huge, if you don't select this one. And after you are done with that window, it'll start importing. It can display some errors for various reasons. For example, mesh size might not be appropriate, there might be some problems with FBX file etc. I'm not a builder, so I'll leave that business to builders. I got an error here, but I will leave it as it is, because it doesn't make a difference to my mesh. Here is what I got. This is in meshes folder by the way. Select all of them, right click and select insert with location. Object files have a location and you need it, otherwise if it's splitted, you won't have everything in right place. Here is our mesh. We can bring it to surface with move tool. It's actually so small. If you get the same result, try turning off the scale checkbox when importing, or try exporting as OBJ. But sometimes it never works and you will have to scale, or position it yourself. I'll try unchecking the scale checkbox. This didn't really work. It might look small, but it's actually huge. As I said, sometimes you need to manually do these. That was it for this video. Hope you understood. See you in another one.